Beloved, welcome to day 37 of the Bonaventure Lenten Challenge. Today, we reflect on Encountering the Mysteries of Christ our Lover in Meditation by Reverend Father Abeku Apri. We shall go at once to the deep caverns of the rock which are all secret. There, we shall enter in and taste of the new wine of pomegranate. Today, we are challenged to reflect on the 37th stanza of this classic work of a great mystic, a spiritual canticle of the soul and the bridegroom Christ by St. John of the Cross, which was inspired by the beautiful insights from the Song of Songs. Dearest friends, the season of Lent offers us a unique opportunity through persistent prayer, fasting and almsgiving to grow in our relationship with Jesus Christ, who is our lover. Song of Songs It is a special moment when the soul searches and yearns for God and the true meaning of life. We shall divide our reflection into three key points. First, St. John of the Cross talks about entering the deep caverns of the rock, which are all secrets. This can be done through meditation. Meditation is an opportunity for encountering Christ, the rock. Psalm 18 verses 1 to 3, Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 to 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. And there, we can savor the sweetness of the divine revelation which culminated in the incarnation about 2,000 years ago. Meditation will help us to move away from the earthly noise and distraction in order to meet our lover, Jesus Christ, who is always ready to welcome and share the depth of his mysteries with us. Meditation offers us the opportunity in this lengthening period to experience the deep caverns of the rock, which are the deep mysteries of the wisdom of God seen in Christ Jesus as celebrated in his Paschal mystery. When we learn the act of meditation, there we will discover that in Christ are great depths yet to be fathomed for his treasure par excellence. All the hidden treasures of God abound fully in Christ, the incarnate Son of God. Secondly, St. John of the Cross uses the phrase, and there we shall enter in. Meditation, which is an encounter and a search of the knowledge of the divine mysteries, is not done by us alone. In meditation, the, the individual soul journeys along with Christ, the bridegroom. We are expected to use this lengthening period to strengthen our bond and communication with Jesus. Christ is the leader and one who directs us. It is a spiritual marriage as mentioned by St. John of the Cross in his canticle. Here, the bride, individual soul, is united with God and can no longer do things of his own. Here, the bride, the individual soul, is united with God and can no longer do things of his own accord, but in accordance with God's own direction. In our own context, this encounter will help us assume our will to the will of God. The point, therefore, is that we mediate with Christ and not alone. The third key point here states, and taste of the new wine of pomegranate, the mysteries of Christ and the judgments of the wisdom of God with the soul gains through meditations are likened to pomegranates. Pomegranate is a fruit with very sweet taste and rich in antioxidants which help to fight diseases in our bodies. Therefore, for the benefits of our encounter with Jesus this Lent to be compared with the wine from this fruit, we are being assured of not just spiritual benefits, but also health benefits. Our growth in our relationship with Jesus will guarantee health to all, and those who are sick will find restoration this season of Lent, as they drink of the wine of the pomegranates. In conclusion, we are encouraged to see God and his divine enrichment always through the practice of daily meditation.
This is where we can continue to unravel the numerous unfathomable mysteries of God, for it is in Him we live, move, and have our being. Cut off from Him, we are nothing. John chapter 15, verse 5. Our scripture for meditation is Song of Songs, chapter 7, verses 11 to 13. Our activity for today is Visit the Blessed Sacrament and meditate on the Gospel reading of today. Also, drink some pomegranate juice if you can afford it, or perhaps the juice from an orange. Let it remind you of the sweetness of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, ever-loving God, whose divine mysteries are infinitely unfathomable, grant us the grace and zeal in this lengthy period to imbibe the virtue of approaching your love through the practice of our daily meditation and grant us the opportunity to always savour the sweetness of your divine mysteries. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you and see you tomorrow.